In this video we are gonna find out what the best free rendering engine is. So I've thought of a series of tests to put each renderer through to find out. By the way, when I say free, I mean free for personal and commercial use. Though there are really only four render engines that fit that. They are Cycles, of course, LuxCore, Radiant Pro Render and Octane. Now let's do the first test, which is of course final render speed. To make this fair, I used pretty much the same testing method as Blender Guru. So I set all the different light passes to the same value across the different engines and used peak signal to noise ratio to get the noise close-ish. But now let's actually get into the results. The fastest rendering engine at 16 minutes and 42 seconds was LuxCore, which is pretty nice. On second place we have Octane at 30 minutes and 7 seconds. Although I have to say that I had to use the out of course setting, which reuses the VRAM usage but also comes at a performance penalty. Then Radeon Pro Render at basically the same place at 30 minutes and 53 seconds. And in last place Cycles at 44 minutes and 38 seconds. But the speed of the final render isn't everything, so let's look at viewport performance next. Cycles and Octane both tie for the first place. They don't have to resync the objects all the time and are very nice and responsive to use. Then Radeon Pro Render and LuxCore both aren't as great, but for different reasons. Radeon Pro Render is quick enough in smaller scenes, but once they get more complicated it just isn't that quick anymore and looks pretty blocky when re-rendering. LuxCore is pretty quick, but it has the problem where it constantly has to reload when you go in and out of camera view or zoom while looking through the camera. It's not a problem in smaller scenes because the loading is so quick, but again, once the scene gets bigger, it takes pretty long and is pretty annoying. Speed is important, but it doesn't help you if Blender becomes unstable. So let's test stability. For that, I made a simple Cornell box scene to rule out hardware limitations and switched back and forth with render view a couple of times, as well as rendering final images multiple times. If the renderer crashes even once, it'll fail this test. But I'm happy to say that all renderers passed. By the way, I'm not sure if that's a great way to test stability, I just thought uh, it, it would be so. Let me know. The next one is a big one and that's ease of use or simplicity of use. Because I think that if using the renderer is a hassle, you probably won't want to use it. This is a little bit opinion based, but I really think that Cycles is the best one here. That might just be because I use Cycles pretty much daily, but I just love the principled PSDF shader and the way Cycles does things. For example, if you want to add subsurface scattering, just slide the slider and you're done. But in Octane, you have to go through a whole process to get subsurface scattering. And because of its flawless integration with Blender, I think it's 100% the winner in this category. In second place we have LuxCore because it has a very nice settings helper which will ask you a couple of questions to dial in the render settings for you. Additionally it supports some cycles nodes like the principal PSDF shader which makes it compatible with Node Wrangler for example. The lights in LuxCore are pretty logical and simple to grasp as well, so yeah. Radiant Pro Render is in second place too, because it supports some Cycles nodes as well, and they actually make it very simple to convert to the Uber shader. Then Octane is in last place, because some things seem to be more complicated than they need to be, like adding subsurface scattering or controlling the brightness of a light. But that also gives you more control, and it could also be that I only need to get used to it. But a rendering engine can be as easy to use as you want. It won't help you if you can't render. So that's why I'll test resource efficiency, so VRAM and memory usage next. In first place, with 1.8 GB VRAM and 1.8 8GB memory usage we have Cycles. In second place with 3.4GB VRAM and 900MB of memory usage we have Octane. Don't worry about the high VRAM usage though because Octane has an out of course setting that will allow it to use the system memory when it runs out of VRAM. Then following closely on third place we have LuxCore with 1.6GB VRAM and 3.1GB memory usage. And in last place we have Radeon Pro Render with 2.2GB VRAM and an absurd 5GB memory usage. The last test is very opinion based, but that's how the renderer looks. And I'm actually not sure if I should include this one, because the differences in looks could also just be caused by a lack of expertise on my part in any other rendering engine than Cycles. Which would also explain my ranking, which is on first place, Cycles, because I like how golden the light looks. I actually asked my brother and he thought Octane was the best, because it looks more realistic to him. So I might just be biased in Cycles favor. In second place I would say Octane because the rim lights aren't showing up on the chair how I want but that could also just be a lack of knowledge on my part. On third place I'll place LuxCore and on last place Radiant Pro Render because I don't think it looks realistic. But now let's find out the conclusion. When I add everything together, the wins and losses of every rendering engine, then the best render engine is Cycles, taking the win in every category except rendering speed. On second place we've got Octane, then LuxCore and on last place Radiant Pro Render. But that's it. If you like this video, then I assume you want to get the most out of your render, so watch this video next to level up your renders with better color.